Hey, what's up, Raven users? Jamie Z here. I want to show you guys how to use the recording feature to add plugins in the edit window, and then also how to navigate through the inserts menu to instantly get to all your favorite plugins. So let's get started. First thing we'll want to do is just make the selected track big, which is Control Windows key up. So we got to go into our quicks list here. We got to get the Windows key down and up. And then in between there, we're going to do the Control up. This will make track big. So now when I hit it, you'll see it's going to make the size of the track really big. So my click that I'm about to record can click that insert. So I'll hit the record button. I'll click the top insert. I'll stop the recording. We'll call this click. Edit window. I'm going to go into my quicks list. Let me find it in here. And search for it. Click ins one edit window. Close that. So let me just make sure it works. You see right when I click it, it finds my first insert. So let me add that click at the end of this batch command here. Give this a little bit of delay time. The click will even give it one second. Now, after the click happens, we want to cursor down one, two, three, four, five, six times. Then we want to cursor right. And I want to select the Slate Digital plugin folder. So I'm going to hit S, which takes me to Sound Field. And S one more time takes me to Slate Digital. Cursor right will take me to the sub menu. And then I would just hit V to get to Virtual Mix Rack. So let's type that all in here. Key command cursor down. Slight delay. We want to repeat it six times. And then we want to cursor right to get into that sub menu. Then we want to key command S to get us to the slate folder. But we're going to need to hit it twice. Then we're going to need to cursor right, add some delay, and then we'll need to hit V to select virtual mix rack. Give it a name. Close that. Now we'll select a track, this audio 15. It'll make it big, it'll click it, it'll cursor, and it'll add the plugin. So let me save this. But since these recording clicks are XY access based, I want to make sure that all my Pro Tools sessions have this same layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new configuration and I'm going to call this a line for clicks. So now anytime I get an old session or somebody sends me a session, I just got to import this align for clicks and it'll recall my exact window configuration. So even if I move some stuff around when I recall this, it's going to remember my settings for the window. So my clicks will always show the right spot. So now I could select any track, add VMR. And there's that. We'll edit this one more time to maybe add, we'll go for a Avid plugin. So we hit A, cursor right, and let's add Lo-Fi, L. We'll instantly bring up Lo-Fi. So now I just want it to hit A, then cursor right, and then L will open up Lo-Fi. Give it a name. Let me go select another track here. Add Lo-Fi. Makes the track big, clicks it, scrolls through, adds the plugin. Now I'll save this. And now what if we wanted to add this to Insert 2 maybe? 
all we got to do is get the record feature, click the insert, stop record, and we'll call this click insert to edit window. Open up this batch command. Instead of insert one, I'll go into here. Click ins two edit window. Let me delete the first one. Give it some delay time. Confirm to close. We'll go select a track. And now it'll add it to insert two. I right, hope you guys dig it. Peace.